As time goes, the conversation still continues about the whereabouts of Maverick Aoko. You know, Maverick was arrested on Friday and she was supposed to be availed in court today. But in regards to what we are being told, she has not yet been availed in court. But what has caught my attention is a certain article in regards to the said tweet that caught the attention of DCI and what led to Maverick Ahoko being arrested. We can say it's about sex and politics. Now the tweet that made DCI arrest Maverick Ahoko, who is a popular known Kenyan activist and blogger, has sparked a lot of controversies and conversation on social media. In a move that has sparked outrage among free speech advocates, Kenyan authorities arrested Maverick Aoko, one of the country's most prominent Twitter activists. Aoko, known for outspoken criticism, uh, was taken into custody a few days ago and is facing charges of fabrication of false information under Section 23 of Kenyan's Computer Misuse and Cybercrime Act. According to the charge sheet, Aoko's arrest stemmed from a tweet in which she alleged she alleged that Cabinet Secretary for Defense Soipani Tuya obtained a position through a sexual affair with the Commander in Chief. Now, immediately after her arrest, Aoko deleted some of her tweets related to the matter. In an interview, Aoko maintained that she believes Tuya was behind her arrest, stating, "If anyone has any beef with me, they should come." Uh, listen, listen to her. She says, if anyone has any beef with me, they should come and deal with me rather than using the police to try and silence me. Now, I insisted that she will not be det deterred, declaring there is a Kenya that needs to be saved through telling the truth and I am not backing down. Now, the arrest of Maverick Aoko has drawn swift condemnation from human rights groups and free speech advocates who argue that it represents a traveling crackdown on dissent and critical reporting in Kenya. Many have expressed concerns that the Computer Misuse and Crime Act is being used as a tool to suppress legitimate criticism of the government and its officials. As the case continues to unfold, the fate of Ahoko and the implication for free speech in Kenya remains uncertain. However, a different stance and the public outcry over her arrest suggest that the struggle for transparency and accountability in the East African nation is far from over. Because, c come on, come on, come on, to Lizane Maswali, how comes, hmm? how comes uh, that people who, who are also attacked you know, Haoko has attacked a lot of people, including uh, uh, Milio Diambo. Milio Diambo is somebody like, uh, she even went ahead to expose Ra that Raila Odinga Jr. is not the son to Raila Amol Odinga. But these people, all of them, have been seeking the release. They have all called upon the release of Maverick Haoko. Now let me ask. This toxic masculinity. No, I'll leave about the, the, the masculinity thing. The toxicism that comes with somebody like Soipani Tuya being the cabinet secretary of defense. Hmm? Moramke akiwa na wadfa kama u. Alafu ajiwekea kwamba. You know what? I can do this. You people shouldn't question me. You know you don't. It doesn't matter how I made it here to the top. Are you getting the point? You know, the, the, the problem that we are trying to solve and trying to understand, how does the DCI take orders from a cabinet secretary to hold a person without any charges, without any criminal charges, for three days, and then on the day that this lady is supposed to appear in court, she disappears? Hmm? Because to atujui mali yaoko wako, atujambi wa mefikisho wa mahakama gani? You know, trying to live in this country sometimes, and these, isi ni zile tunasemanga, they, they are sexually transmitted jobs. Hmm? The way yaoko always puts it, let's say the truth. 
they are sexually transmitted opportunities and jobs hizi zimekuja kwa sababu ya kulala na mtu hmm lakini <laughs> siku itafika tu what else can we say Remember this is Celeb Corner KE please make sure una subscribe see you in our next video